Hey guys, so this is going to be a video of me showing you how I shave my head myself. Because today I have a lot more hair than I usually do, today what I'm going to start by is wetting my hair then using this fine tooth comb to comb through my hair um, just so that when I use the clippers it doesn't leave like waves on my head and it'll cut everything at the same length. like all my hair will be out and uncurled um, a lot it's a lot easier and it, it hurts less also with the clippers um, so fine tooth comb and then I have these clippers so these are just regular clippers I I don't know how else to call them they just buzz obviously this is not something that I buy my husband bought these and I'm stealing them so they work really well when I have longer hair because I've done this before with longer hair and obviously a razor just going through you will just ruin your razor after the first stroke so I use this first and then after that I then apply my mousse so this is the mousse that I use it is the pure silk spa therapy shave cream and it's in the vanilla shea butter uh, scent or flavor I'm not really sure what that's considered um, and then it moisture it's moisture rich shea butter softens skin and I do think that this works a lot because it leaves it doesn't leave my skin super dry sometimes if I go to the barber depending on which of my barbers um, take care of my head um, it, my scalp can come out pretty dry and especially with the job that I used to do I was working in a bakery and I was working with flour a lot so my scalp used to be really really dry just because of the dryness of the of the place that I worked at and all the flour that would deposit on my scalp so um, yeah so this is what I use on it it helps it works if anybody else out there uses something else please let me know in the comments below so then what I do once I have the cream on my head is I put a wet towel in the microwave for about 30 seconds and then I'll show you guys how I do that um, and then <laughs> don't burn yourself be careful please I like open it up and then fan it but you'll see all that so wet towel and then last but not least I use a just a regular razor this one is three blades it's like a beak um, yeah, it's, it's just a regular um, razor like I use the same for my uh, like uh, any other like shaving needs that I that I need um, so I always make sure that if I'm going to be uh, shaving my head especially um, I want to make sure that I use new blades uh, just because I those bumps are really really irritating like a lot of times people ask me um like how do you not get like um razor burns or like razor bumps and it's actually because I use really clean new blades that I keep rinsing and then I like have a container oh yeah I also will have a container with just like a little bit of alcohol and water to just dip inside to clean it up a little bit so that if I do cut myself I'm not like adding um, little things to get an infection so first like I said I'm going to wet my hair and I'm using like a lukewarm water not too hot not too cold either I kind of want to open my my pores a little bit um, so I just dip my hair really I don't want it dripping it's really just to soften my hair a little bit so I just and I can tell once my hair is softened uh, just because <laughs> it gets really dry I have a really dry scalp really dry hair 
Um, I was actually diagnosed with scalp psoriasis a couple years back and I believe that actually the medicine that was used to cure my scalp psoriasis actually helped with the burning of the follicles and ended up being um, having this this type of um, of alopecia um, but then again it could not be true because um, my dermatologist and like the doctors that I've been to still haven't been able to explain to me why or how I lost my hair um, and my sister my, my older sister actually also bald and then there are some other people in my family my grandmother on my dad's side has really thin hair um, so I think that I got that on top of the um, on top of the alopecia from my mom's side it just did not mix very well but out of all of us it's just my sister and I that got it so it's all good we make it work it's fine we love our bald heads anyways uh, but uh, yeah back to my scalp <laughs> um, right now I can feel that my hair is a lot more supple it's a lot more um, like soft so now I'm going to comb it using the fine tooth comb. And you can kind of see how like the bald spots disappear as I, as I um, comb my hair. Deep under is still a bit dry, so. <laughs> It hurts a little bit. Okay, so now that my hair is all combed out, I just dropped my comb. <laughs> now that my hair is all combed out, I can feel it. I have like a little tiny baby fro in the back, and uh, the front is also kind of uh, cleared up of like little coils. Now I'm going to take the clippers and I'm just gonna go in and uh buzz down to probably the skin like it, it goes pretty it, the clippers are pretty good um i have a mole here so i kind of have to be careful because a lot of times i cut myself so i want to make sure that i don't cut myself this time so let's do this so now i'm actually going to need to face the mirror uh but you should be able to see how i do it <laughs> okay, so I kind of move forward. I lean forward um, just so that I can see the back of my head in this mirror from this mirror. So I kind of fold it in and then I kind of move this one and this one to show me where I'm at. So with this right now, I can see from right here until right here so I can shape this part and then over here I can see from right here to like over here like I have a pretty good angle over here to see so I'm going to start Um, so I just need to do that side 
So instead of looking into this mirror, now I'm going to look into this mirror. And then I'm going to switch, switch hands with this. So I'm, I'm right-handed. So this part is usually like the hardest part. Um, and the fact that my mole is on this side, it does not help because every time I try to make sure that I don't cut it, the rough draft of it all you guys can kind of see so now I'm just gonna go back so now I'm just gonna go back with this and kind of get the spots that I didn't get again I want to make sure that my hair is gone as much as possible because with the razor it's so fine that I want to make sure that it's not getting clogged with long pieces of hair so uh, that's why I really like this uh, these clippers because they they do a really good job like they really get down to my scalp pretty well um, I don't know if you guys can see how smooth well you probably can't see how smooth but I'm letting you know it's smooth um, my scalp is and that's really going to help when it comes to shaving it with the razor so I'm just gonna finish it up razor I still have some patches with like longer hair but I'm I'm going to just use the razor on that one so at this point this is all the hair it's so fluffy like I I love this I I love my hair and it makes me sad every time that I have to shave it off but I mean the curls are so pretty I don't know if you can see look at these curls oh baby oh I love these so much obviously it's trash now I'm not keeping them to like look at them every day um, so now disposing of that I'm gonna clean myself up a little bit before I get to the next step all right so now I cleaned myself up a little bit uh, and so the next step that I'm going to do is I'm going to take my mousse and I'm going to pass it all on my head. But first, I'm just going to wet my head just a little bit. I have my towel in the microwave 
Um, I put it in for one, oh, just kidding. I put it in for 30 seconds. So when you take it out, you really wanna make sure that you pick it up by like a corner or something and then you thin it out because 30 seconds is definitely a lot. I just put it in there for that long because I get time to do this and then time for me to walk from the kitchen back to the bathroom. I don't want it to be cold. So I thin it out as I come to like back to the, to the bathroom. So loose it up. Do you want to build a snowman? I don't know why that's the first thing that came to mind, but. So then I just wrap the moose all in my hand. So I really do need the mirrors. So. I want a nice layer on there because I am going to put the wet towel on top and I go a little bit further than my hairline just because when I'm going to be shaving I don't want to cut myself where I don't want a little bit more dryness like I want to start where it's smooth and then just keep that same level going forward or downward so I got this side so now I'm going to get this side. I'm just putting it on my hand. to put it on my head okay so I got my hot towel if you can see yeah so I'm going to put it on my head I don't want it to be too hot and burn my scalp you kind of press gently and I have my container uh, with water and alcohol here uh, which I'm going to use to dip my razor before I put it back on my head each time. So then I just remove it. And then I always start on this side just because I'm right-handed and it's a lot easier for me to um, to shave from this side so I'm going to continue doing that with the rest of my head now. Let's get it.
I just finished shaving my head. So what I'm going to do at this point, I'm going to rub a little bit more water um, on my scalp and just rub my scalp a little bit to see if I missed any spots and just go over those spots to make sure that I have a nice and smooth scalp. I'm not gonna show you what that looks like but I am bleeding I don't know if you saw it as I was shaving um, but I'm just trying to stop the bleeding it bleeds for a while and it makes it seem like that's it that's the end of my life but really it's not that it's not that bad so I am almost done just rubbing my scalp with the towel making sure that I get like really nice hairless scalp sorry I'm dripping everywhere okay, let me just check on my mole so it's it's bleeding a little bit more than not usual it's it's been like that it's just it's been a while so I have to wait a little bit for it to stop bleeding but then afterwards what I'm going to do is I'm going to rub my scalp with some oils oh my god it's so smooth I wish you guys could just touch it a lot of times people will come up to me not just randos, but like my friends would come up to me and ask me if they can just rub my head. It's not for good luck, they're not idiots. It's just because they can't do it on their own heads and they don't have anybody else who's bald around them. But yeah, I, I don't mind. I don't feel anything, like I don't find it weird. Um, I don't, I'm like, yeah, sure you can. I don't know, I can't remember if anyone that I don't know ever asked me to rub my head. I think that may be weird. Yeah, I don't, off the top of my head, I can't think of anyone who just came up to me and was like, may I just rub your head? That would have been weird. It depends. I don't know. I've had someone, like a white person, come to me and ask me if they could touch me. But then again, I was in, like, Europe, and they had never seen a black person. So I was like, yeah, why not? You know, I make dreams come true, you know. My husband did not appreciate. He was like, I was like, oh, poor guy. He forgot I was black. Um, okay, back to my head. Right. We're almost there, guys. We're almost there. All right, so I have all my oils with me. Um... So I usually just mix them in the palm of my hand and rub my scalp. So the first one that I have is Baobab. Um, I'm not sure if that's how you say it in English, uh, but it's um, it helps to like repair. It's good for the skin and hair. Uh, it uh, it smooths and repairs skin. It's written in French, so that's why I'm like thinking I have to read it and then translate. Um, I got it from Paris. It was a gift. Um, and then there's tea tree oil. You can get that anywhere. So I just put a couple drops of tea tree oil. And then I have peppermint. So the tea tree is really good for your skin. Um, it clarifies and also it like strengthens your skin. It's really good um, to fight in infections on your skin. Uh, and then you have peppermint oil. I really like this. I really like it for the smell. I'm sure that it has like good 
aspects to it. I don't know what it does. I just really like the smell of it to offset the tea tree oil because either you like tea tree oil smell or you hate tea tree oil smell. And I'm on the not so like tea tree oil smell. So um, I like to put the mint inside so that I kind of recognize the smells that I like. And then I have honey quat um, and that also uh, is uh, like hydrating and conditioning for the skin. So what I do is, I just, sorry, I'm gonna take off my rings. I don't like when oil or stuff gets inside. So I just do like, it's about a quarter teaspoon. And for the peppermint, not a quarter teaspoon. For the peppermint, it's like, a couple drops you'll burn yourself if you just put like raw peppermint oil on your on your skin anywhere on your skin so never just pour that gel on there just make sure that you have something to cut it with if you have if you have real peppermint oil you definitely will need something to cut it with this is my tea tree oil And then finally, my bao bao. I really have to look up what bao bao is in English if it is not bao bao. It's like a, I feel like it's an oak tree, but I'm not sure. I feel like I'm lying to you. Maybe it is bao bao. It's like a really big tree in Africa. So now I'm just rubbing my scalp. I am still bleeding a bit because this mole is relentless at this time. So I'm just rubbing my skin. It's so smooth, guys. You have no idea. It feels so good. So there you have it. This is how I take care of my scalp. So all of this, I don't do it every week when I do shave my head myself. I really just do, um, I don't, I don't like do the oils as much because um, I usually just do that after I shave. Um, but yeah, everything else, I do the towel, I do the, the mousse. This time I had to use the clippers because my hair was a lot longer, but if in a couple days I need to shave my head, I really don't use anything. I do it whether I'm in the shower or something. Um, I'll put a little bit of, of soap on my head. Um, I don't always use shaving cream. I use shaving cream when I really have a lot of hair on my scalp um, and then I need like to really uh, condition my um, or like soothe and smooth my my scalp so there you have it back to my bald head finally I've missed it it's been three months and I'm glad that I shaved my head see I'm still see this little dot still bleeding anyways it'll pass thank you guys so much for watching my video on how I shave my head please if you haven't done so, subscribe, like this video, and make sure to hit the notification bell so that you know and you're notified every single time that I drop a new video. Once again, thanks for watching.